In this article, I will introduce many cracks and parodies of Gundam. Mobile Force Gungal Gungal is the plastic model that was sold during the plastic model boom in 1980. It was initially a plastic model called Blender, but the packaging was changed, and it became Gungal. The instructions show that it is the same. It is 1 250 scale, so it is tiny. And, only 7 parts. Gundam at that time required glue, but Gungal did not. It was not until the new Gundam was released in December 1987 that adhesives were no longer necessary. Gungal is on the cutting edge. The original price was 50 yen, but now it is over 20,000 yen, because it is difficult to obtain. Zaku to Zuku The Char's Zaku is now a Zuku-enhanced, improved version. Goof has turned into a dog. The only thing they have in common is the color and the cockpit. Dom has become Godzilla. Zgok becomes a rhinoceros. Char's Jelgu became the old Jelg. By the way, there is no new Jelg. Gungal powers up to the enhanced new Gungal. The left arm became a drill, and the head could be replaced. Gungal has often appeared in Japanese anime and manga and continues to be loved today. Solar System Squadron Galdan Galdan is a product that took advantage of the Gundam plastic model boom. Strongest Warrior Don A robot piloted by Don Hoffman. Both hands are drills. The real thing is entirely different from the illustration. Super Steel Warrior Gun A robot piloted by Gun Ramiu. Pliers in the right hand, knife in the left. Strategic Warrior Baku A robot piloted by Baku Saravan. The head looks like Mazinger Z. This is because Baku was initially based on a Mazinger Z knockoff. Both hands on the drill. Electromagnetic Warrior Mag a robot piloted by Mag Gillian. It has bat-like wings on its back and an ear-like projection on its head. Pliers in the right hand, knife in the left. For some reason, there is not a single robot with human hands. The Animage Unlike Gungal and Gul'dan, the molds are newly made, so the plastic models are full of originality. It was labeled as 176th scale, but it was the same size as a 1-100 Gundam and cost 800 yen. Compared to Gundam plastic models, this was an advanced product with a broader range of motion in the leg joints and a movable range in the waist. Except for the design, it even surpassed the Gunpla of the time. Solum, a mass-produced battlesuit that resembles Gundam, sold the best. Safety Warrior Condom A product that makes condoms look like Gundam. They were sold in boxes of 12, but are now hard to find. Condoms Love Cannon Sack 2 Gum Unlike Gundam, once you fire one shot, you're done. Gundam in Malaysia A humanistic Gundam was found in Malaysia. It looks like a combination of Gundam and Superman. It's relatively cool, but the legs are thin. What I'm more interested in is this place. It is a banana, not an antenna. The product name is also Banana Head Robot, I can't complain about that. The chest part is removable. It's a robot with cracked abs and a design that doesn't look like a robot at all. Incidentally, there is also a similar robot named the God of the Sun. Is it really okay to turn God into a robot? Fake Gundam in China A fake Gundam was installed at a theme park in China. It has an imbalance between the upper and lower halves of the body. When the copyright holder moved to sue the fake Gundam for copyright infringement, it was transformed into a hideous design with spikes and power pipes all over its body. A lot of messy and unintelligible parts were added, and it became something different from Gundam. 
It is about 15 meters high and can be lit up. On Chinese social networking sites, people said, the design is evil, it's just Gundam, and Zako added together, and it's sad. Still, people were more tolerant in Japan, saying, it's surprisingly cool, and many illustrations, opening movies, and plastic models were created. In China, comments such as I admire Japanese people who can express garbage made by China in a cool way, and is this the difference in ethnicity between Japanese and Chinese people? If they had shown this sense from the beginning, they would not have complained. Chinese Animation, Earth Defense Fighter Their faces are scary. The characters' costumes are Evangelion, no matter how you look at them. They are riding a Gundam. A mysterious story about EVA pilots fighting aliens in space aboard a Gundam. The pilots are sucked into the Gundam's head. This would be a rip-off of Raideen. Plus, the three of them ride the same Gundam. The enemy soldiers look like condoms. Condoms with guns that look a lot like Gundam rifles. With such advanced technology, this abomination is a complete waste of technology. Gundam Statue in the Philippines There is also a Gundam statue in the Philippines. This Gundam seems to be too long vertically. Speaking of the Philippines, Volts 5 is very popular. The statues of the Volts 5 are of high quality, as you can see. Not vertically long. For some reason, the quality of Gundam is low. The statue's official name is Jed Giant Robot, and the person concerned explains that it is original, utterly different from Gundam. But eventually, it turned blue. There was a lot of criticism of the Gundam statue in the Philippines from Gundam fans in China. There was a lot of criticism from Gundam fans in China. I'm sure there are many more things to criticize. Various Gundams in Korea Unidentified Korean Gundam I'm not sure what it says. There are also many other mysterious robots, such as Shining Astro and Gundam L-Game. By the way, Gundam L-Game just changed the head of L-Game. Speaking of Korea, Space Black Knight. This is the main character, the Space Black Knight. No matter how you look, it's just char in black, but a Nero's natural face under the helmet. Underneath Kaecilia Zabi mask, Miss Sela. Another Dazzle Zabi with a strange skin color. There is also an anime in Korea called Space Gundam V. The name is Gundam but the design is entirely Macross. Of course, it transforms. When the protagonist shouts Space Gundam V, a Gundam from appears under a rock. Space Gundam V fights a giant rat, a giant spider, and a Satan. There are no Gundams anywhere, but it is an anime called Space Gundam V. The Box Gundam He was photographed in 2003 at Anime Central, an event held every spring in Illinois. It is incredibly mass-producible, and if it wanted to, it could equip the entire army and every soldier. He was received very favorably in Japan and generated many followers. How did you feel about it? That's all for this explanation. We will continue to cover all topics related to Japan, so if you have any topics you would like us to cover, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching to the end.